despite the fact that Rado may have lost out on creating the first fully ceramic watch, their historic lineup is full of spectacular achievements. The original Dia Star in 1962 used tungsten carbide to claim the title of the first scratch resistant watch. And the V10K in 2005 had a case of pressure formed diamond to make the world's hardest watch possible. The new Rado Dia Star original skeleton doesn't break any records like that, but it is the latest addition to a historic lineup of fantastic watches. Changes to the Dia Star's case have been subtle, but noticeable, with a slight sharpening of the corners towards the lugs, honing in the watch's style. Overall, the sloping ovate silhouette is still evocative of a futuristic robot turtle shell. In fact, the whole watch is dripping with 1960s retro futurism, despite being full of contemporary features. The case is a sandwich construction with a stainless steel case back and midsection. However, the star of the show is the top layer, made of Rado's Ceramos. Its dark grey colouring is reminiscent of titanium, but with a liquid smooth finish. Rado created Ceramos in 2011, and it's enabled them to create complex shapes from this super hard material using injection moulding. The dimensions are definitely suited to modern tastes, but still serve up a vintage feeling that's comfortable on most wrists. The diameter is 38 mil, with a lug to lug distance of 45 mil and a thickness of just 11.9 mil. While the case is a huge part of what makes the Dia Star, the dial of the Dia Star original skeleton is mesmerizing. The current generation of Rado Art of Skeletonization watches uses the caliber R808, a movement specifically designed to be on display. Its mixture of rigid lines and organic curves further lends itself to the sci-fi nature of the Dia Star, and punches of blazing yellow gold offer a glorious contrast to the dull grey components. It commands a huge sense of depth, but never really feels overly complicated. Crystals often don't need much attention in a review, especially in these times when, well, almost every watch has one, which is made of sapphire, slathed in anti-reflecting coatings. But where a domed crystal usually offers some nice distortions around its edges, the Rado Diastar uses a cut sapphire with extreme angles to create even more interference. The angles of refraction differ for each of the flat surfaces, causing only slight shading changes from straight on but making for an almost, well, kaleidoscopic light show at extreme angles. Returning to the caliber R808, its new bridges and plates are backed up by the same 80 hour power reserve and three hertz beat rate that makes it so loved as the Powermatic 80 in other Swatch Group releases. Here though, it also gains extra testing in five positions instead of just three for more consistent accuracy. The Rado Dia Star original skeleton is now available from Rado retailers. Now, I don't know about you, but this watch is <laughs> definitely standing out on the wrist. This is going to get plenty of questions when you pull that sleeve back and people see it sitting there. It's almost like a spaceship from the 60s sitting on the wrist, but there's enough modern approach in this design that you can definitely tell this is from today's era, not yesterday's. What do you think about this iteration from Rado? Yeah, I kind of like this. This would be a really different piece for my collection. But how about you? Hit me up in the comments. I'm curious to know what you think. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then think about doing so because it makes a huge difference to us and the sort of watches that we can get access to here at Time and Tide to keep bringing this quality content to you day after day.